What's up everybody? Welcome to Aerial Assault. Today's video is going to be about saddle specific clothing. If you don't mind, please go below, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications. Anyways, on to today's topic. Like I said, today's video is about saddle specific clothing. And what I mean by that, there's only two manufacturers right now that make equipment or clothing specifically for us saddle hunters. That being broadside camo and versus skins. Okay, so what makes it saddle specific or specific to the saddle hunters? As you can see, I got the bridge coming out here. Basically what happens is, is you can wear your saddle up under your jacket and then on both sets, whether it's broadside or versus skins, they have this. So whether you have a removable bridge or a step through bridge, it doesn't matter. You have these on both sides that you can unclip and button back up, have your bridge come through at whatever height you want, and then your jacket lays flat. What I mean by lay flat is that allows the back to lay flat back behind here, no breeze coming up underneath and up over your pants. Versa skins though, what are Versa skins? Well, if you'll notice here, we have Realtree Extra on the top, but this is Realtree Max 5. And I'll show you, it's really easy to change out. These right here look like a different set of pants, but what makes them Versa skins is they have these little zippers all the way around and there's multiple buttons to make sure they fit. You would just unzip this, pull your duck hunting camo off or your swamp camo then you're right back into a real tree extra green and a matching set also comes with another a skin for your top and you could even use these as like a small light windbreaker if you wanted to but like on the jacket there's an extra set of zippers and on the pants there's an extra set of zippers here let's go over the broad side and show you what it has to offer all right, and this is broadside camo. As you'll notice, this is an open concept camo. It's really going to excel in the elevated hunting. And this is the Ascender series. The Ascender series is a little bit darker. It's meant for later season. They also have the closer, which will match your green backdrop. And the cool thing about the closer is it's so lightweight, you can slip it over the top of this. But the one thing that sets broadside uh, apart from the Versa skins, in my opinion, right off the bat, first impression, is the Versa skin is a camel clothing, and when you order that clothing, you have to ask for a specific modification to have it uh, made for the saddle hunter. Uh, that's something they do. It's an awesome service that they offer. With that being said about broadside, what Scott has done here is he's designed the entire jacket around these openings. So, for example, he has chest pockets up top. What's the first thing that happens when your bridge is in the way? You can't use a uh, kangaroo pouch. You can't use your side pockets on your jacket. Everything gets bunched together. So he put these top chest pockets in here. Not only that, he put kidney pockets on the back because when we're climbing, we all the time have something to slide inside of these kidney pockets. Or, or inside of pockets. We usually have dump pouches and everything down here, but we're always looking for an easily accessible piece or area to grab something when we're going up. Another thing is on the back of here, he has what he calls the perch pocket. At the time, the perch was the best platform to fit in there because it laid flat. Now you also have the Scout and the Scout Solo. They'll lay inside there perfect, and even some mini sticks, and I'll show you that. But not only is the jacket just like the Versa skins in the fact that it unbuttons on the side, it allows you to pass your bridge through so you can wear your saddle up underneath, then your jacket lays flat, same as before, no wind up your back. But not only is the jacket designed for the saddle hunter, the pants are too. He has cargo pockets on the side, but he also put cargo pockets on the inside or a pocket on the inside of the thigh, like for a cell phone easily accessible when you're sitting in a saddle you always have the top of your legs and the size of your legs available but like in the side pocket you always put your cell phone in there and then what do you do if you barely grab it or it slips out of your hand it's falling out of your pocket there's a lot of cool things about both of these uh, setups i'm going to be trying them both this year i don't really know which one i'm going to go with or what i'm going to like the best like i said this is a uh, a great camo 
for elevated in the tree. It's gonna break up your outline. It, it's a great go-to for that. The one negative to this camo is if you're a prima donna like me at times and you want all your stuff from your saddle to your backpack to your boots to match, you're just not gonna be able to do that with the broadside camo. Although it is a great camo, you can get everything except for the boots to match and then you can wear your saddle up underneath. Okay, you'll have a backpack on the tree, maybe you can get mossy oak tree bark and it'll look just like the tree. There's options there if you're willing to do something a little bit different. The great thing about the Versa skins, it's going to match anything you buy. If you want to buy something to match it, you can. There's going to be backpacks in that pattern. There's going to be boots in that pattern. Uh, that's the one plus to that. The one negative is I don't think it has as many features designed specifically for the Saddle Hunter as this does. And one last thing about the broadside before we go, I also hunt out of a tree stand a lot. There's nothing about this that would not make it easy to hunt out of a tree stand in as well. Even back here, the hood is, the hood can be zipped off and there's also a zippered opening for your safety strap if you're wearing just a regular safety harness. But anyways, like I said, I don't know which one I'll be using this year, but I'll be trying them both out. Hopefully check back in with you later. Just want to let you guys know what options are out there for us as saddle hunters if we want something specific to us. Anyways, until next time, please subscribe, guys. We'll see you later.